Hi, it's me again and I'm very happy that I'm able to do another video today. So let's just start. And I'm um, not sure whether you can see the difference but I did put some effect at the start of this video and it's called the faded effect because I think it looks brighter and of I think clearer than how I usually do it. But after a while I took that effect off because it's, it just sort of make the video lag so yeah i removed the effect after a while and here i'm just taking out pieces of paper that i wanted to incorporate in my spread and of course the vintage bar stickers that i pre-stamped before and um i today i decided to sort of uh do a sketching of uh, flowers tulips on my spread which i got from internet the image I just sort of copied into my spread I'm not a creative person but I can copy uh, the things that I see so here you can see the finished tulips here I'm showing you the tools that I use it's just the normal uh, mechanical pencil from uh, Pilot the Tombow uh, drawing pen and of course the eraser so here I'm just prepping my watercolor and today I'm especially excited because I'm going to use this Confetti Petals um, watercolor from London Gifties which I got like a few days ago so I'm pretty excited to use this today and I think Christine is a genius she actually stuck like little bits of uh, magnetic strip underneath the palette so that you know the palette will stay put in the tin box and won't be moving around so I'm actually very excited to use this. This is the brush that I use. I'm not a painter. I'm not good at painting or drawing or anything. Like I say, I, I can copy things, but I can't create. So um, I'm just, a, you know, like to draw and color generally, but I can't create things out of my own. So here I'm just um, putting in colors on the tulip that I've drawn, which I copied from internet. And you know this watercolor is amazing. Um, Christine did an amazing job. It's so smooth, and the color is so pretty. And you know it's just absolutely a very quality handmade watercolor, and I love it. And there are actually two more on the way, which I do not regret getting them at all. This color, uh, handmade watercolor by Christine, is absolutely awesome, guys. I'm not a painter, like I said, I'm not, I, I do not draw a lot, but I do like to draw and, and color. So, you know, this watercolor is absolutely amazing. And here I'm just using another color um, for the other tulip. And I'm just trying my best to, you know, put in the colors within the lines. I do not do shading because like I said I'm I'm I actually do not know anything about painting so I'm just putting in the color generally and I I just love how the the color um, turns out it's absolutely gorgeous and here I'm just putting in the coloring the leaves of the tulip here I think you can see that the effect is off and also I want to apologize that the, the focusing of this video is a bit, I would say irritating because it kept getting in and getting out of focus. I think it's because the way I position the camera and my hands, when my hands get close to the camera, it's sort of focused on my hands and when my hands move away, it's sort of, you know, focused on my spread. So it's sort of making the video looks like going in and out of focus so for that i'm really apologize and i actually was thinking whether i want to put up this video but then i just love the this watercolor very much that i want to share with you all so um that's it that's why i, I do apologize for this very irritating um defects in my video and I think uh, now I know so next time I'll be positioning my camera in a way that it sort of doesn't it sort of 
um, how do you say it? Not so sensitive towards the movement of my hands. Right. So you see, if I do not do anything, it's okay. But once I move, it sort of get in and out of focus or something to that effect. Yeah. So here I'm going to paint the brush. Uh, sorry, the branch. <laughs> yep. At first I was thinking whether I want to use the, use the lighter brown, but I decided I want to use that sort of dark blackish brown. Because I think the leaves and the flower are in a very pastel soft color. So I want to bring out the, the painting a little bit more. So I put a darker color brown on the stem. Oh, is it steam stem? Stem of the flowers. Yep. I actually love this watercolor very, very much. And it's actually very expensive to ship it to Malaysia, but I do not regret getting it. It's absolutely, absolutely awesome. It's awesome. And I have two more on the way. So, yeah, and uh, normally handmade watercolors or even watercolor in general, they sort of have residue left behind after it's dry but I tell you London gives this handmade watercolor left it does have some residue you touch when you touch it you do feel the you know you do feel that residue there but it's not that much so I think it's a super handmade watercolor in terms of quality and of course the color was the color is absolutely gorgeous and here you can see I took out this stash of um, papers these are actually all the packaging uh, paper I received for my orders you see there's a lot of it and I do not like to throw this away because I like to use them in my spread and <laughs> so you can see how much I um, purchase my journaling supplies <laughs> sorry I should say how much of journaling supplies have I purchased yet yeah. So here I'm just doing some collages or collage to um, to see how it the three piece of paper can uh, come together and yep I like it that way so I'm just tearing out the extra bits of that piece of paper and I'll put everything down with my glue stick. Now after this, I was hoping I'm hoping that I can have a more consistent journal with me video. I was thinking like at least once a week, but I'm very afraid to commit to that because, like I said, I'm very busy with my work, and yeah, I do not have that much time during weekend nowadays as well. So uh, I do not want to commit to it and then can't fulfill it. But then I try my best to have, um, try to go for once a week. But like I said, today I'm very happy that I can do like uh, one video yesterday and a, another video today. Yep. Yes. I'm very excited that I'll be able to use that uh, London Gift this watercolor as well. I've been dying to use, to try to use it, but I do not have the time to do it yet. So yeah. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I did not have any music background yet. <laughs> it's so hard for me to find time to just sit down and, you know, do the things that I like. So once I have the time, I will pour into my journaling. And, you know, it made me feel like I, you know, I've, it would be a waste of time to do something else. Yep. If you know what I mean, you know so difficult to find a little bit of time for myself and I really want to do something that I really really really, really like yep. so here I'm showing you that that is the roll of the vintage basket I tear it from and then I just stamp in some quotes you know daily quotes inspirational quotes and here I'm taking out the little calendar that I have and I'm gonna use that to mark down the date that this spread is for which is the 20th of October And I'm just trying to position it to the way I like. And I decided to 
tear out the top part of the calendar so they have that pairing effect and I like how that turned out and so I'm gonna stick it down with my glue stick again this video is a bit long because of the drawing that I have to make and the watercoloring yep actually I drew the flowers off cameras else it'll be even longer like I said I didn't create that flowers I actually copied from the internet <laughs> I'm not a creative person in terms of drawing I guess so yeah so now I'm putting everything down and after that what did I do I think I put on some washi tape yep this is one of the starch box of my washi tape yep so I'm gonna use this Camille garden um washi tape slim washi tape and i've taken uh, the more darker blue color because the whole spread is like very soft and paste you know pastel color so i want to use something darker to bring out the colors and of course uh, not of course i mean and then i'm using this classic -y green grid uh, washi tape to tape the bottom of the spread because there's some glue there on the mini calendar so I don't want it to I don't want the pages to be stuck together later on so I decided to put a washi tape there and a little more a little bit more washi tape on the um, vertically you know I do need to get a background music else I have to keep talking which I think you'll be bored hearing my voice so if I you know I have nothing to say then at least there's some music that I can listen to yeah I'm gonna get some music background music when I have the time which I doubt I will have not at least not for this month yep again there's another classic -y washi tape And now I decided to put down a girl sticker, which I usually would do. Oh, I was, I'm going to stamp this first. This is the um, self ink office stamp, which I just recently just bought it and I love it. So yeah, then I'm, I took out this, this is actually a butter cookie um, tin, but I use it to store all the freebies that I got for my purchase and you see it's actually f packed and almost you know it's almost like f it's full but I still push all the things in <laughs> because it's paper so you can actually push it down but it's actually very full so these are actually all the freebies that I got for my purchase it's a lot so now I'm actually trying to use up all of those as much as I can and I've decided to use these two stickers. One is my favorite girl, the LDV girl. Uh, LDV or LVD? LDV. I do not know how to pronounce the actual word. I think it is. Um, so I better don't pronounce it. <laughs> it's, the short form is LDV. If you're interested and you would like to find I think you can type LDV and you'll know what it is. And I decided to stick the girl there because I think the top part is a bit too empty. And then if I stick at the bottom, it's a bit too busy. And the flower, I decided to put it there. And I love how it turns out. And next, I'm just going to take the, some sen sentence English English sentences stamp. I love this stamp a lot. It's from Yuwu and they are, they are English sentences and it has different fonts and different wording and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I like to use uh, word stamps on my spread a lot. Yeah, especially as um, a layering on top of another stem or another picture or another you know yeah 
and I think it turns out very good. I, at least I love it. I love this spread a lot, and I love how the flowers turn out with the stamps, the wording there. Yeah, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy putting it together. And I'm really sorry about the the, if, the focusing thing. Um, I'll be more. No, I'll try to reposition my camera on my next video and see how it turns out. So yeah. Um, you know, if there's any question, just let me know. Else, hopefully, I can see you again very soon. And here you go, London gifties, confetti petals. Thank you. Take care and bye.